Now Ted writes, I've got Windows Automatic Updates turned on, but how do I know if my computer is really up to date? First thing you can do is... Publicly post your IP address, and I'm sure somebody will let yeah, you know. Give us your IP address, we'll put it in the next show, and I'm sure the viewers will take care of your computer real quick. But if you don't like that idea, then uh, why don't you go ahead and check this out. Okay, well, that's a very interesting question that you've asked. In fact, I think it's a question that pretty much the entire security community is still wondering. Uh, and had, nobody's really come up with an answer as far as how to secure a Windows machine. No, they don't make it easy. Um, <laughs> no, people love to give, give, give Windows hell. But, uh, I mean, there's some basic security practices you can follow. You know, a lot of times it's not necessarily the operating system you're on, it's, it's the services you're running and right. the programs that you're running. I mean, Linux can be just as insecure as Windows. It's just the way that it's configured. Exactly. And I mean, the big problem with Windows, the biggest problem with Windows is that when an exploit or, or a vulnerability comes out, you're at, you know, Microsoft's whim to come out with a patch. It's, it's not open to public scrutiny. You don't have anybody in the world who can come up with a fix, submitting a fix. You have Microsoft coming up with their fix that's going to be on the second Tuesday of the month. Mm -hmm. So, you know, in the case of the WMF exploit, I think they released it a little bit early right. because of the severity of the attack. But nevertheless, you're still dependent upon them. And I think that's the problem. That, that, that's the thing that really turns off a lot of security consultants and, uh, you know, people that are in the know in the know as far as uh, digital security because y you've got no access to you know customize the operating system um now uh you know you've already done the first step and that is to make sure that you've got automatic <laughs> updates enabled uh, but there's another thing that you can do to make sure you know i'm laughing right why you're laughing because <laughs> you totally saved me there well yeah <laughs> hang on the director's telling us to keep going okay. the control room guys are like you're doing fine keep going uh, there's, another, there's actually uh, an application that Microsoft released that will allow you to scan your system, and not just your system, but any other system on the network that you have administrative rights to, and it will check, um, it's called the Microsoft Baseline Security Analyzer, and it'll check uh, not only if you've got all the Windows updates and Office updates, but if you've you know, followed best practices, not just with Windows, but also it scans uh, SQL Server 2000, um, IIS, uh, there's even one uh, specifically for Microsoft Exchange 2003. Okay. So uh, here we've got Microsoft Baseline Security Analyzer opened. And if you go through here uh, and, and set it to scan, uh, right now I've scanned my local system, it will tell me that um, you know, my uh, Windows updates are up to date, my Office updates are up to date. Oh, look, I've got a guest account open. And that's why I got this little red X here. And this lets me know that that failed. It's a critical vulnerability. And I can click here to see what was scanned and the pop-up little thing saying hey you noob you know you've got your guest account opened and I can click over here how to correct this and it'll actually walk you through the steps involved in uh, in fixing this action so you're not you know open to uh, to vulnerabilities of course it's not a silver bullet it does scan a lot of things and it's going to give you a much better idea than uh, than you would just by going to the Windows Update site and right. seeing if you got the green light or the red light you know yeah, the other, another thing you might want to do is, is um, there's a couple of websites that have, uh, that are, that, that, you know, publish known vulnerabilities. For example, Security Focus, Exploit Tree, all, all the, you know, Millworm, all of those. And what you can do is you can just go to those websites and, and select, like, for example, not necessarily Windows, right, but what, like if you're running IIS or a particular version. Say, or, like, I'm running Apache on exactly, Windows. Exactly. Then you want to go and find out what vulnerabilities are. You yeah, know, public for that particular version of that software program. So that if you're I was running, running Apache 1.33, uh, or 1.3.3, <laughs> or whatever it is, I would go to Security Focus, select Apache, select that version, and see what vulnerabilities are out for that right. version. And then, and, and then you, you you also might want to try testing it out. I mean, that's the beautiful thing about penetration testing, is the fact that you know. Uh, if you can't actually penetrate the box yourself, it's probably not a, you know a crucial uh, vulnerability. You know, mm -hmm. oftentimes the, the biggest vulnerabilities are the ones that are, are the easiest to perform, like the WMF exploit. As soon as it came out, I mean, everybody could do it because it was so easy. Um, so that's why I don't really like I don't really like answering this this kind of question because no, it's really gray. Th there's no way to <laughs> to secure a computer because at any point you never know when a new vulnerability will come out. Mm -hmm. Uh, or which ones are out that are not public. Right, but this but program is a great way to check those What you can do is, yeah, rather than saying how do you secure your computer, you say, 
how do I make it secure enough or the, the best that I can do? Right, you know because I mean? a lock is only there to deter an honest person. Well, yeah, I mean, there's all, I mean, everybody in the security world, I mean, I think this was made famous by Bruce Schneier when he said, basically, you can have the best lock on your door and a thief is just going to break the window. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's not necessarily that you have all your patches up to date or that you're running, you know, some super secure version of Linux that the NSA is you know, put Deemed, out for free. Yeah, but, DOD, whatever. But you want to make sure that all of the different facets of your network, your, your personal network, are pretty secure. You know what I mean? Like, you're not, you don't have a billion ports open on your firewall. You're not running, like, op just telnet. Yeah, you don't have a Windows 98 box on yeah. your local network on the DMZ or something like that. Right. You know? So, you know, a tool like this is great. Also, try some open source tools or, or, or some uh, tools that you can download publicly, like uh, Nick is a great one. And Nessus. Nessus is a great one. It's a very good one. I mean, there's a lot of tools that you can do. You can download. Uh, maybe we'll put a few in the show Yeah, notes. they'll be at the bottom of the screen when we mention them. Okay. And, <laughs> and you know... It's what been I a think, while. I haven't yeah. done this. <laughs> well, what I think is great is that these tools are here. I mean, you could read... You know, you could spend like weekends reading white papers on best right. security practices. Well, when it but all boils these... down to it, <laughs> most likely if you run a home network, nobody's really interested in what your computer has. You know what I mean? Nobody's going to be trying to break it. I hate to say it, but I mean, most likely nobody really cares what's on your computer, and they really right. don't care about breaking into it. But if you want, if I you got, want I got 20 gigs of MP3s <laughs> that I'm sure the hackers want. So, yeah, maybe. Yeah. All that J-pop, right? And yeah. Uh, <laughs> and um, edit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I guess uh, to, uh, the last thing you can do to make sure that your computer is secure is go ahead and publish your public IP address on uh, forms, or I'm right. sorry, <laughs> hack slash forms. And I'm, I'm you'll, sure you'll, the, you'll the find out very quickly. <laughs> the community will let you know real quick, quick if you're good. So thanks so much for the question. I hope that helped. <laughs>